Pop on that shoe. Yeah. Look at it. Hey, got a brick on my wrist. Beep. Look at it. This a brick. Yeah, 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 yeah. This a brick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Talk and shoot. Okay, guys, so if you all did not see the last video, I just successfully pranked Jeremy. Don't act like you're still mad. Ah, she fucking got me. Whoop de freaking do. Okay, so. You know what's so crazy? Because I just knew. Like, when we first started talking, I was like, if we ever, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying, get like deep into it, like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna ever, like, let you prank me. Because I would, like, see it coming. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up, though. Let me check out this bacon, y'all. We about to go to, um. Bailey, get out of my kitchen. Get out, Bailey. Look at Jeremy. Get out. Okay, this thing, this looks good, right? Yeah. We're about to go to the gun range. I need to change my outfit, though. Cause this was just. <laughs> you you wearing that? Yeah. Oh well, I might as well keep on. Yeah, you good? Oh, I don't wonder where this. I look crazy. I put on the. Uh, yeah. Okay, babe. Come show them my twerking one on one with you. We're thinking about our Dirty Truth or Dare video, and obviously, I wasn't twerking for nothing. But now, babe, come on, what was I doing? Back out, arch back, what is it? Put your arch in your back, then shake your arm. Okay, okay, I gotta get this right. Okay, I've been practicing, guys, so this one should be good. Arch back, do I look uncomfortable? Yes, I can press the page. Oh, what am I supposed to do, babe? I'm just playing good. Okay, just. Then you gotta let it be natural, babe. Okay. How do I let it be natural? Okay. Like Let's that. Just, okay. Mm. All right, now just shake it. Oh, is your mom calling? Hello. Hi, Keisha. How you doing? Good. How are you? That's real life. Real life. Real, real people problems. Hey, put this in your bag. Put it in your bag, babe. No, I'm saying I was just putting emphasis on bag since they were asking why you bring your bag everywhere. But sometimes, uh, that, <laughs> while we here, there the reason. <laughs> the what? While we here, there. Yeah, while we here is the reason why I got my bag here where I go. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, we are at the gun range, about to shoot some stuff up. Do we need glasses to do this? Oh, can I even see his name and focus? Hold on, y'all. Okay, this is your first time in? Yeah. Okay, all right. Hey, how are you? Camera ready. How you doing? Oh, Good, how are you? Just taking the test, everybody. Oh, she passed. Hey, look, remember what I told you? Remember, no, uh, remember what I told you? Okay, guys, so we are behind the scenes. I passed the gun test finally. Uh, let's shoot him. Let hold this. Let's put that up there. This back in here. I lay it over here. Just take our gun out. Okay, what are we gonna call our man? Let's not name him because that sounds kind of unfortunate. Let's just call him Dummy. Headshot. Huh? Call him Head. Right there. Oh, okay. Well, he only has 
two shots. Good job, my bad. Yeah, so would you like to tell everybody what happened to you? All right, y'all, so we were at the shooting range, whatever, shooting or whatever. And um, my gun kind of got jammed. And when I went to go pull it back again, it fired in my hand, like it was in my hand and it fired, which was so scary, by the way. And then um, the shell, it kind of like got jammed in there or whatever when it, when it fired and a like, piece of metal from the shit like chipped off and fucking hit me in the fucking hand right here. It won't look the same. I mean, hit me in the freaking hand right here. And it wounded me. It may not look like a lot, but trust me, you guys, it's very deep. <laughs> you know? So he had to come to Dr. Anderson? So, okay, Dr. Anderson. Right. I'm now currently applying pressure on the wound. Hold on, we're gonna wait for it to focus here. So now we're gonna apply some pressure on the wound to make sure no extra bacteria can get inside. Uh -huh. My patient here says that he feels a pain level of zero, but it did not. Ah, it's just gotten to a level 10. Babe, you're so dramatic. The pain is unbearable. <laughs> but um, it only grazed the surface of the skin. It didn't get into the flesh. Um, that's why we see minimum blood. But as I've just dabbed with the peroxide, we can be able to see the wound a lot better. Um, but we do see a cut there. We were able to successfully confiscate all of the metal pieces off of the, what is it called? The, um, the shell. The shell. Do y'all want to, oh, bait, and I have the shell. Could you grab it out my book bag? I just grab my book, it's right there. I'm gonna show y'all the shell. Y'all can like, what the fuck? I'm in the world. Babe, <coughs> hey, you just laying up and all this oh, stuff. Oh my goodness, <coughs> So this is how it looks. Let's see how sharp it is. That fired back. And what he had on a shirt and a hoodie. Oh, the God. Can I see it? They put it back here somewhere. There we go. Y'all see the jagged edges? <laughs> and a piece of this metal scraped my flesh and blood. And it hurt me. <laughs> <sighs> oh my goodness. Get it away from me. <laughs> Get it away. <laughs> See y'all. Uh, don't play with guns for at home. Yeah, we even though I'm certified, but that was yeah, just we have a license and everything, so no worries. It was just a malfunction of the guns and so he's gonna have to return the gun <laughs> and um after he returns the gun, we're gonna Well, I'm not getting any gun, even though they recommend me to get one for myself. But they did say some of the guns that he should have instead. Like that would be a better option. But it's the other one. this is aloe vera. It should be enough. Oh yeah, I was tripping right. <laughs> You're like, what the heck? <laughs> you just put all that on me. Hey, thank you for taking care of me. You're more than welcome, Yeah, they already saw her face when that shit when that stuff happened. She was so scared. I'm like, dang, but I'm the one that got hit. I know, she was so Cause I felt it. Like as soon as I heard the gun go off, I wasn't even looking at him. I just oh, heard that when the gun, and the gun was going off so much, like with everybody else shooting, us shooting. But I was looking down at the camera, trying to focus it on our target. And when I heard the gun go off, instantly my heart jolted. It just didn't feel right. And I could only see his back. I couldn't even see his face at all. And I was like, I was like, baby, are you okay? And he was just like, uh huh, uh huh. And it just didn't sit right with me. It just didn't feel right. And then when I walked closer, I saw blood on his thumb and like, I was just like, please, 
please Jesus just don't <laughs> don't don't tell me that this freaking gun and they gonna shot him like I was so scared but God God works in mysterious ways we're blessed um and I'm gonna actually send a picture I'm gonna FaceTime my sister y'all know she works in the hospital so she has a master's degree and stuff like this I'm gonna show her and see. Gucci gang Gucci gang Gucci gang Gucci gang <laughs> Baby, no, you're starting to think you're materialistic me. even though you're not. Please. Y'all know Jeremy does definitely just Girl, be playing. I was this way before anybody even knew me, though. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, they take it seriously. I know you're just joking when you do all that, but they be like, oh, does he only care about labels? Oh, does he only... But you were like this in high school. Like, Jeremy, y'all just didn't know this. Like, Jeremy been like this since... You know, I was in a whole nother relationship with somebody right. completely Girl, different. I'm gonna start my show. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm just saying, sure. like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, he was, he was just always like this, and that's one of the good attributes about him because he's funny as crap. And you, when you know him, when you y'all know when you know certain people, and you know like like even with Q, like Q is just the biggest jokester ever. Like she jokes about everything. But if you just meet her firsthand and you just listening, you may be like, wait, is she serious right now? But I know her, and I know like half everything that pretty much comes out her mouth is a joke. And I know when she's being serious. Okay, I'm about to do your thumb now. Okay. But yeah, Jeremy is just playing. Is it hurt? But I bled through my shirt. It is one of my favorite shirts. I know, babe. We can get that out though. This was a good day overall, babe. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, not that this happened, though. I'm just saying, I'm like, saying. everything else. And I can sit here and be baby because this is my baby. But he's so sweet. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad either. Gotta make sure we clean up. I'm gonna put a bandage on um, on both of them until um, we talk <coughs> to my sister. Hold this real quick. Babe, don't touch it with your uh, dirty hands. That's why I'm I got trying to see if there's something like stuck in there. Well, let me do it because my hands are clean. Your hands are. That's why what I got that this black glove. thing. What is that? This is probably a skin bag. I just don't want to have no like internal bleeding or no crazy shit. You want to say just go to the hospital? No, yeah, I'm okay. Do you want to go to the hospital, babe? Because you saying stuff like that is scaring me. No, but I'm good for it. <laughs> Let me see the other one. You wanna just call my sister now before we put the band-aids on? Mm-mm, baby. Babe, you saying all this now and I'm trying to see you like <laughs> Y'all look what happens. He needs back massages to calm him down. Or a head thing. That's how he wants all day. Okay guys, so we are at the hospital. Uh -uh, I already dropped Jeremy off to the emergency entrance and I just parked. But uh, right before we were going to bed, I had looked at the band-aid that I placed on his chest area. And I noticed that it, was, it wasn't bleeding really, really heavy, but it was bleeding much heavier than it should. And especially since we had the incident earlier, I was really concerned. So I was like, you know what, before I go to bed, I'm gonna change our Band-Aid out. And when I changed it out, I took his flashlight on his phone because it looked a little weird. And when I put the flashlight right there, I realized that there was a piece of metal jammed inside of his chest area. Now, of course, it's not deep, so I'm not gonna try to be dramatic and, you know, say it was deep or whatever. But if you guys haven't watched shows where one little minor thing has escalated into a whole bigger ordeal because people was like oh it's not that big of a deal it's not that serious and then next thing you know you know they could have prevented something serious from happening 
Yeah, I know my sister works at the hospital, so I call her and um, I FaceTimed her and showed her and she said we needed to come up here. So that's what we're doing. But I'm going to check back in. Y'all always be changing my hand whenever I'm vlogging because it's dang on heavy purse. Like my purse weighs a ton. So whenever I'm vlogging right here and this arm gets tired, I try to switch it out. Anyway, y'all, I'll see y'all inside. Oh my god. Alright. So it was not you. <laughs> Gotta make sure that then get into the lungs or anything like that, okay? You okay, babe? Are you having any trouble breathing? I've never got a shot before. <laughs> this will be I an mean, interesting story, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I get Are you allergic to anything? Oh, no, no, no. Have you been outside the country in the last month? No, no. Okay. Do you have any history of medical problems? No, no. And no surgeries before? Oh, we can slip that off there. On my hand. Oh, is okay. this right here? Oh, it's on the fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we'll get an extra, okay?